This is uh, my race car that I currently working on to make the roll cage. As you can see, the beam from the main hoop to the front. That's actually it's a multiple angle. It's not two dimensional angle. It's a 60 degree down and 15 degree to the passenger side of the vehicle. This type of the band is a two band at the one corner. Here is a two band I'm using. It's not like that great, but uh, it does a job. By the way, and I print the nub for me to easily release the pressure from the bottle jack every time when I finish a bend. That saves a lot of time versus use the rod. After all this crap, I can adjust the angle, but it's such a so inconvenience. Let's modeling and make some tool to make this job easier. I recommend print out like this way, and pop out all the supports, including the little window actually has support too. Uh, not in this footage, I'm sorry about that. There you have it. So you put the gauge and then if you want the case hold the gauge tight, that's easy. So turn on the stove, safety first, make sure don't burn your hand. And then warm it up. Just a little bit, not too much. And then squeeze it down. Same thing, just a little bit. Don't over squeeze it, you're gonna break it if you do. So like a little bit bend. It will help to holding the gauge inside, pop your gauge in. Once you want it out, just like this, it will be pop out. So that's it, and you're good to go. I know it's not for someone who has an OCD as kind of like headache to make a 45 exact. So now you can shove it in with a mark. Make sure the center line is in the center of the die. Some of the die came with the center line too because it's step easy. And once again, this is a zero mark. So then you can go ahead and bend. I also made this tool to guide the notch of the tube. Print it out like this way. Here I'm using the 3 of the 32 stainless steel TIG welding fill rod. You need to cut it like 6 piece of each fill rod, which is 6 inches each piece. And after 6 of the fill rod cut, it's supposed to be look like this. I make the tool exactly 36 hole. I 
put the rubber band into the slot which is I'm uh, making uh, for holding the stainless steel rod that way the rod won't fall off easy there you have it this little tool will guide you the notch where the joint of the two tubes or to the fly surface hopefully this video help you guys out subscribe if you like please and there have the free STL file into the description below and have a good day guys peace out